In Australia, firefighters are struggling to contain more than 100 bushfires. Record temperatures and winds of more than five and of more than 50 miles per hour have created catastrophic conditions. And while people can flee, animals sometimes have nowhere to go. Siobhan Robbins reports from New South Wales on the devastating impact on wildlife. Oh, how mm. old is that little baby? She's 440 grams, so she's a pouch baby. Wrapped in a knitted pouch, this tiny koala is something of a miracle baby. Her mother is dead, killed in the recent Australian bushfires. Weighing less than half a bag of sugar, baby Hayes was rescued by firefighters. She was very ill um, when she arrived. In fact, I didn't think that she'd probably survive. She's one of 25 koalas being cared for by volunteers Christine and Paul McLeod in their home in New South Wales. There's no way she can survive on her own. This is Sparky, he's from the Harrington Fire. This room on the side of the house has been transformed into a critical care ward. Sparky's been here for around two weeks. What, what injuries did he have then? Uh, paws, paws. Uh, nose, um, singed fur. Um, but he was on the edge of the park, so he was able to escape out into the green um, section. The fires burning here have been some of the biggest of the past week. Nine injured koalas have been brought in over the last few days alone, but some are so badly burned, they're being transferred to clinics outside the fire zone. What makes a koala particularly at risk from these fires? Because other animals will run out of the fire zone. Koalas will go to the top of the tree. So if you've got a crown fire, you're going to have an incinerated koala. So I think we've got five, five little juveniles um, ready to go. And it's not just injured koalas being affected. This group was due to be released, but their habitat has been decimated. There's nowhere safe to go. With fires still burning, it's difficult to gauge the full impact on New South Wales koala population, but here they fear it could be catastrophic. These might be the insurance policy, the next generation. Do you think it's that stark? I do, I do, yeah. Um, yeah, they virtually could be the only ones left out of that whole population. It's feared at least 350 koalas have already died and with more than 100 fires still burning, that number is likely to rise. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Australia.